this planet, with all its appalling immensity, is to electric current, virtually no more than a small metal ball. Up to that time, I knew with a certainty that I would complete my work. But when that pageant died, I knew my life's work was finished. As you move through, you hear the voices, both of the old man, the young man, in the same way all of us, all these voices in our, our head all the time from past, present, and future. Like, what's going to happen? What has happened? This is more like a dreamscape of a life. This is about a psychological, mythological move through time more than anything. This planet, with all its appalling immensity, is to electric currents, virtually no more than a small metal ball. But when that pageant died, I knew my life's work. We are held together like the stars in the firmament, with ties inseparable. I'm really interested in the stories that it's not told. So with Tesla, there were two motivations. A, he's kind of a mythic character. He is a uh, heroic character that had a lot of sadness in his life and a lot of loss. So he represents a story that everybody has at some level. And this installation starts with him as an old man talking about how he became very reclusive at the end of his life and ended up caring for birds in Bryant Park. He had moved away and had a lot of disappointment with culture and life and society. My life's work was finished. This installation, I did at Rowan because they have an engineering department and we needed, I wanted him to be able to speak directly as an old older man and as a younger man to people individually. And I needed the engineering department to do the programming, the electronics, the mechanics for all that. We are held together like the stars in the firmament with ties inseparable. He's offered so much and we wouldn't live in this digital world that we live in, it's the other reason I chose him, without his contributions. And yet Edison and Marconi had higher profiles than Tesla, partly because he was an idealist and was not used to kind of capitalist ways, and partly because he wanted to offer energy 
for free to the whole world. And his ideas were more like art. They were, in a sense, he was more of a visionary artist. The present is theirs. The future for which I have really worked is mine.